The sixth round of India-US trade talks that was scheduled in New Delhi on 25th August has been called off. The Chinese Foreign Minister will arrive in India on a two-day visit from 18th August, for the 24th round of the Special Representatives Dialogue on the India-China boundary question. The Indian Coast Guard will operationalize the Phase 2 of its coastal surveillance network with 38 new radar stations by end of 2025. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment is developing an indigenous 12.7mm heavy machine gun and 20mm helicopter mounted cannon. Indian Navy warships have reached Colombo for the 12th India Sri Lanka naval exercise. Indian Navy's stealth frigate INS Tamal has made a port call at Naples, Italy, and conducted a successful exercise with Italian Navy's landing helicopter dock ship. The Indian External Affairs Minister met his South Korean counterpart in New Delhi, as India and South Korea marked 10 years of their special strategic partnership. After losing a total of 19 aircraft, including five fighter jets to India's S-400, a prominent Pakistani defense analyst has urged the Pakistan Air Force to shift focus from manned fighter jets to unmanned combat aerial vehicles. China has handed over the third hangar-class submarines to Pakistan at a ceremony in Wuhan, China, following the second submarine delivery in March 2025. The Philippines is considering local production of India's next-generation offshore patrol vessels to boost its Coast Guard for West Philippine Sea patrols. India is considering a government-to-government -government deal with France to acquire 114 Rafale fighters, that will ensure faster negotiations better pricing and timely deliveries. The DRDO is gearing up to conduct the final trial of the 643 km range smart supersonic missile torpedo. India's Akash and GSAM is in advanced user trials, including Ladakh, validating its 80 km range, dual pulse motor, Kuban Sika and Acer radar. The DRDO chief has announced that India is developing quantum magnetometers to detect submarines by sensing PICO Tesla level magnetic field shifts. It will be ready in three years, and the technology could be mounted on P 8I aircraft and Sea Guardian drones, giving India a major anti submarine warfare edge against China and Pakistan. Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that it is shifting to a modular production model by outsourcing the equipping of major Tejas Mark 1A sections to private firms like L&T Dynamatic Technologies VEM Technologies Private Limited and Tato Advanced Systems. These firms were earlier limited to structural supply, and will now deliver fully equipped modules with wiring hydraulics and subsystems, leaving HAL to focus on final integration and certification. After successfully evading Pakistan's HQ-9 air defense systems and hitting multiple targets, the Indian Air Force has started talks with MBDA to integrate the Scalp Stealth cruise missile onto Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2. Talks were held to overcome avionics integration challenges for Tejas aircraft, whose ACE radars will need upgrades to support the 560 km range stealth cruise missile. The DRDO chief has said, that the 5,500 km range Mach 21 capable Dwani hypersonic glide vehicle will be ready for induction in two years, and 1,500 km range Mach 8 plus hypersonic cruise missile in five years, that will give India an assured second strike capability, as their extreme speeds make interception nearly impossible. The 400 km range M3 long range interceptor being developed under Project KUSA, will feature a state-of-the-art tri-seeker system, that integrates active radio frequency, passive radio frequency, and imaging infrared guidance, that will make it the most advanced seeker assembly ever developed in India. The layered seeker architecture ensures pinpoint accuracy across a wide range of targets while providing built-in redundancy, making the system highly resilient against electronic jamming and countermeasures. Today's top 3 comments.